It's not every day that uh, you have a turtle named after you, but I'm delighted to have been given that honour by Underwater World. All the turtles that come into Underwater World have in some way been uh, sick or are injured. And Jamison was discovered off the coast of Fraser Island and uh, we've kind of nursed Jamison back to health. As you can see now, a very robust, healthy turtle. And it's an olive ridley turtle, which are a little unusual, and so it's a really good candidate for tagging because we can learn a great deal more about that particular species and, and there's, a, in scientific parlance, a paucity of information about that species. We've been taking in turtles now for about 24 years. We've had over 800 turtles come into Underwater World. And we've tagged them with titanium tags so we know if someone by chance happens to encounter that turtle again, that's come from Underwater World. But it doesn't give you a lot of information. So with the satellite tag, we can collect all sorts of information that tells us a great deal more about the biology of those animals. The tag on the turtle's back is the satellite tag with the aerial and uh, what happens is that records data as the turtle's at large in the ocean and when it comes to the surface it uploads that information to a satellite and then that bounces back to a computer where we can interpret that information. I gave him three pieces of mayoral advice. One is that you must have a tough exterior, which he qualified. Two is that uh, you mustn't go into your shell too often. And most importantly, as a mayor and representing the mayor and the ocean, he must be prepared to stick his neck out. In recent times when we've tagged uh, animals in the, in the turtle biology community, they've actually gone in, in really unusual directions in places people did not expect. And in particular, uh, tropical animals are going to southern waters, which uh, is something that people didn't consider might be the case. The satellite tag actually gives it a great deal more information than just location, although that in itself is valuable. It also indicates or records the depth of the water that the turtle is in, the water temperature as well. So we can learn a great deal about its biology. For example, if it uh, moves to an area where there are seagrass beds for a long period of time, we can infer something about the habitat that that animal prefers. And we also learn a great deal about its uh, behaviour in relation to water temperature. And what we're going to do with that data is we can interpret that ourselves, but we're also making it available to any researcher who would like that information. So it will be open source and available to anyone who wants to use it.